Hello students, today we are going to learn a computer system that is a chapter 1. So, let's begin. Computer system. A computer has many parts. All the parts of the computer together make the computer system. As you see, the computer system includes all the essential parts of the computer that is monitor, keyboard, mouse and CPU. A computer system consists of hardware and software. Hardware. Hardware is that part of the computer which we can see and touch. Hardware consists of input devices, processing devices, output devices and storage devices. For examples, monitor, keyboard, mouse and the part inside the CPU. These parts you can easily see and touch. Next, software. Software is that part of the computer which makes the hardware work. It cannot be touched. For example, window, paint, word and logo etc. All these are software or a program which we work on it. But we cannot touch them. Input devices. Input devices are used to enter data like letters, numbers, sounds or pictures and instructions into the computer. Examples of input devices are keyboard, mouse, microphone, touch screen. Processing devices. The central processing unit that is CPU processes the input given by the output devices. It actually executes the instructions. For example, CPU box. So, whatever is typed through the keyboard or mouse goes to CPU. The CPU processes it and sends the result on monitor. Output devices. Output devices show the output or the results of processing. Monitor, printer, speakers are few examples of output devices. First one, the monitor. Monitor provides visual output on the screen. The output that is shown on the monitor screen is called soft copy. Then printer. The printer provides output on a sheet of paper. When it is printed on paper, it is called hard copy. Then comes speakers. Speakers gives output in the form of music and sound which you listen in your computer. Storage devices. The computer uses storage or memory devices to store data and information. Some memory devices such as the hard disk is fixed inside the CPU box and it stores a huge amount of information. Next one, CD, DVD. It is used to store documents, music, videos, games, etc. And the last one is pen drive. Pen drive is a very small object that can be carried around and it can store a lot of information. So, these are examples of storage devices. So, that's all for this chapter. Hope you understood. Thank you.